Welcome back, I'm Jay. We got Steve right here today. This is the Heads Up Show and we're looking at your photos that you're sending us so we can beat them up. That's right. Yeah. But we want to see your stuff. So submit the best pictures that you can to pics at greengridiron.com. We have hundreds and hundreds of photos. This is episode like 68. So yep. thank you so much for making this the most consecutive show that we've done. And, we're gonna... And it's P-I-C-S at yep. greengridiron.com. You'd be surprised how many people aren't able to get that right. Yep. Uh, Steve here is a professional photographer by trade, and I guess I'm just an expert on helmets. You are, it's okay, yeah. yeah. That's all. So we got a whole mess of photos to go through today. Like lots of great ones. Winston. All right, Winston. So we have what looks like a Florida State inspired design. We got the, um, the tomahawk there. We have a silver helmet that has seen better days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got, got character marks. We got the red face mask. We've got a sleece rainbow visor in there. Uh, we've got the older style ratchet strap, chin strap. So first things first, the decal coming off a little bit. Yeah. A little trick to get that stick that, anymore? That's a, that's a demerit. It is a demerit. <laughs> right, right there. Um, I guess, you know, once these decals, it's like, it's like anything else. Once they start losing a little bit of their sticky, yeah. peel up a little bit, next thing you know, it's all gone. You get a little water or dirt in there. You and can. It just gets worse and worse and worse. You can try to take a hair dryer to it. Yeah. Warm that adhesive back up and, but you know, it is that what works it is. most yeah. of the time. You made it. We're starting off on a, not a real high, I, high or I, a low. I'm going to go Steve with a score on this guy, this guy. I think the decals could be a little bit better. I would say if this is a helmet that you want to keep long-term, let's get rid of that chin strap that's starting to get discolored mm. and all that. And let's get one of the new cam locks on there. Um, I think the visor is fine. I think you do all those things and get this thing up to a solid seven. Oh, okay. So for we're... now, I'm going to go with a 5.2. 5.2? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. man. All right, Winston. You heard it here. Come on, Winston. Bring it. <laughs> send, send, send pictures back and show me what we can take that thing to. All right. Next up is Steven, and he sent in two different ones. So Well, cheer. Steven, by sending in two helmets, you're going to get the average of the two, and I can see that Steven's already playing to our emotions. Okay. He's showing a little green gridiron love there. Some green gridiron decals on there. Um, this is interesting. So this is a speed flex with a shock zero G visor, which is designed specifically for the speed flex. But it's also got a sports star chin strap. And Winston has gone in there and he's using a sports star chin strap with buckles where he's taken a, a sports star ratchet strap converter. So it's basically converts the speed flex helmet uh, away from the cam lock or the ratchet strap system into being able to use, use regular buckle with a snap. Um, but he's painted that orange to match the decal on the side of the helmet and the face mask. And he's also painted the, um, the screws in the uh, strap lock. Yeah. And both of them are pretty damn good. I like the one with the orange chin strap with the cam lock just a little bit better, um, maybe because the green gridiron logo is on it, but I don't think so. I just think the orange chin strap is cool. I like the pictures are outside. Look at the little nod in the background, the sign, the yard sign, dogs. Uh, yeah, Steve, see, you uh, notice that kind of stuff. I, yeah. I, I don't know. Nicely that. done. Thank I'm you for taking that. So, I'm so focused on the helmet, Steve. There could be a naked lady back there and I wouldn't have noticed it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you giving Steve? Yeah. Well, let's see if anybody tries that on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it. Um, I'm going to go, see, that it's, and again, this is a, a combination of the two, so this is the average score. I'm going to go with a 6.7. 6.7. That's, actually, that's right. too high, but J I, I already said it. Jay, so. you, got, you got called out last week for being super stingy lately. No picks lately, no uh, good score. So I'm okay. just saying. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, see what yeah, we got here. Yeah. I'm reporting. I'm reporting. Let's see if Sebastian right. can. Uh... Next up is Sebastian, and he says, this is an 11-year-old kid, by the way, wrote a really nice, well-thought-out thing. I'm not going to read into the whole thing, but I'll put it up on the screen. But basically, he went in there, he labeled everything that he did. He says, I love your online store and your YouTube channel. Keep up the good work. We will. Thank you, Sebastian. And you keep up the good work with your photos. Oh, Jesus. Because, my Look goodness. Well, well, again, pulling at our heartstrings here, we got Green Gear and Iron Logos. Uh, not only the 3D bumpers, but also on the chin strap cup and on the decals. You got those to put those on the Under Armour clips. 
kudos for all of that. We've got black um, face mask hardware on the, with a white face mask. I love it. I love everything about this. That is some heavy duty snow up there. The helmet with the black TPU liner, that white face mask. Like this is shot so well, it's not blown out. The whites are still white. Good work, dude. So Sebastian here, what I'm wondering, I mean, if Sebastian, if you're 11, you've got an eye for detail because you've got a little bit of purple in the decal and he used the purple Oakley stickers on the visor, which is just enough. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Northeast guy, so I'm, I'm used to the snow. I got a feeling Sebastian's somewhere in the Northeast, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm or, thinking. Or anywhere, really. <laughs> anywhere this, this way. Um, but I'm going to go, Steve, with this guy. I'm going to go with an 8.4. Mm, there you go. All right. Yeah, yeah. it looks really nice. Great good, job good with the pictures. I wouldn't have changed a thing. Yeah, here comes a whole bunch of pictures coming at you from Rob W. And he just says, hey, I wanted to share with you all of the helmets of the teams I've played for over the years. Dude, this is impressive, and I'm not going to show them all. There are just too many in the sake of time, but I do appreciate you. Maybe we'll do more one day. And these are teams that Rob has played for? Yeah, so he said what he did was the older ones, um, they got pretty old and nasty, so he rebuilt all of them using shut XP replica shells. Okay. Um, so they kind of all had the same look, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Um, so this is these aren't the helmets that he wore on the field. These are helmets from the teams that he played on. They, Love that idea. Yep. So right. he's got little plaques, and I'm going to say the pictures I'm showing you are half <laughs> of what he sent in. So this dude has been playing some football. For, for quite some time. So these are uh, what, oh man, he's going all the way back to his youth leagues. But I got to say, Steve, yeah. these are really nicely done, really nice, um, fresh looking powder coat on the, uh, on the face masks. The decals look nice. The colors are all spot on. This what this white in Seattle blue. We got a titanium uh, face mask on here. Looks fantastic. Yeah, that Hartwick Hawks, I think it was. Yeah, look at beautiful. Yeah, really, this thing has got a lot going on. Really nice job. I'm wondering the the. De I'm I'm guessing. I'm wondering if he did he make or Rob did you make your own decals with all this stuff or did you go out and source them somewhere. Because they look pretty spot on. They look really good. And, and what's nice on this on the back of this Hawks one, Steve, not to cut you off here, but we got the, the, the what do you call those screws? That you, it's like an anti-backing screw. Anti-backing screw, but it looks like you put the decal, took the screw out, put the decal on, yep. and then put the anti-backing screw back in. I wouldn't have done that. I don't think I would have either. I either would have put no screw in. I would have went right over the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, you go right over the damn thing, or I would have put it back in just a regular screw. Right, right. One of the two, but the fact that you went back and did all that. Dude, the attention to detail. You got me beat. Look at this one with the Sports Star chin strap with the red S and the red. The um, color schemes are, are, are great on these that I've seen so far because it's, a lot of them are just you, mostly just two colors. Yep. And then a third kind of just kind of thrown in there, which I, I like all of those looks. And I'll tell you, I never realized just how nice that Oakley visor looks in a Shut XP. Mm. Sure. That looks yeah. great. Dude, th I can't imagine the amount of work that he had, the attention to detail again. I am so blown away with this. Uh, to me, I'm giving you just as good of a score as you could because of the consistency, because of all the work that went into it, and every I just can't show them all. Super unique idea. Super, you know, fantastic execution, Steve. I'm going to go with a 9.3 on the collection. Um, we got to get these off of that wire shelf and onto some helmet hangers. Yeah, actually, you're right. That would do it. And then you can color coordinate the... But something tells me Come that on, Rob man. is already thinking about, hey, how am I going to just really display these? Yeah. 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 All right, man. Next up is, I don't know. I'm just not good with names. I'm going to go with... Uh, Nucid? Nucid. Okay. I'm just... It's, just not, it's sure. just not my thing. So he says, the speed flex is mine and the speed is his cousin's. He plays left tackle and defensive tackle. And his cousin plays cornerback, and they are with the Erath Middle School for the Bobcats. I'd go with Erath, but it could be Erath. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Erath. <laughs> and this is where they are, right? Exactly. Um, this is shot on a foam with portrait mode, so it's got some funky things going on. But the idea is there, and really nicely done. I almost feel like this is. Is this post editing or is this in in camera? This is yeah. This is in camera. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. But I tell you, like, his composition is there, and he's really got the ideas down. 
So, yeah, and, and you know, obviously we got a, a EGTX face mask on the speed. On the speed flex, I like the visor. The rainbow visors always look great. They kind of really spruces it up because without that visor, yeah, it's a white and gr helmet with a gray face mask that you can pretty much mm -hmm. see anywhere. Uh, you got the Nike sock on there on the chin strap, um, so that's nice. Not a whole lot going on here on the speed. You got the matching uh, Oakley stickers, yeah. and you got the matching chin strap, so that's good. Yeah. Pretty plain. No other decals on there. Uh, I'm guessing these are for youth. I would think so. Yeah, they have the gray yeah. padding. So yeah. Okay. So for what they are, and I'm not going to take off any points for the the photo for the phone. <laughs> right. Can't um, do it. I'm going to go, Steve, with a 6.1. Okay. The comments that you see, because sometimes I don't have time to go through all of the comments and look. Sure. What, so how bad are they beating me? How many people like the, me to get tough with the scores versus mm. how many people um, like the fluffy scores? I hear not many negatives, maybe not ever, about the high, the, the high scores. Oh, okay. Um, I do hear like, oh, come on, man. That helmet deserved more love oh, okay. or that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. they want me to give scores kind of like. It's built at, around offense. It's kind of yeah. like at the NBA All-Star game where everybody's getting a 10 for their dunks. <laughs> exactly. Is that, what it, is that what it's turned into? I don't think it's quite that bad, but it's getting there. Yeah. Okay. okay. I see where we're going. All right. Next up is Danny. And he says, hey, guys. In my never-ending quest to get on the show, I present you a game-used speed helmet. Definitely needs some upgrades, but fins up. Oh, well, Steve, I'm just going to give this one a 10. Right out of the <laughs> yeah, gate. no, I mean, no. Oh, no, oh, okay, no, no, okay. too much, too much. All right. Reel it in. Yeah. All right, so Steve, what kind of uh, tree or plant do we you have know, in the background here? I'm thinking that is a old-school azalea, and that is definitely in Florida because this thing probably never isn't in bloom. On one of them, you have uh, the three bumper, so that's great. You got a little mini helmet guy in there, uh, which kind of the older style. But on the newer helmets, you've got an upgraded face mask on the speed, uh, because that is an S2BD, um, which is not the mask that it came with. And uh, that's, you know, th there's some things on that helmet that tell me that that's not a helmet, that, that's just not a collectible helmet that you get out of the box, right? right. It's got the chin strap delete, and we haven't put a, vi put a visor on there. So I would add a visor, and on, especially on the dolphins, you guys, any of these colored visors oh, yeah. is really gonna bring out get the, either the orange in the sun or the blues in the dolphin. Um, I did the warning label, so that's good. I loved, I think the dolphins have one of the best helmets designs in the NFL. It looks super clean with the white, but looks just as good, if not better, with uh, either the light teal yep. or the dark teal. No doubt. Or the aqua, or I should say. I agree. Um, or teal. Um, Steve, I'm going to go with, uh, how about a 7.3? All right. And these guys. Sure. With the little mini helmet hidden in there. I like it's that. It's a little nice bonus touch. points. All right, man. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Next up is Warren. All right, Warren. And he says, hey, I'm Warren. I'm a freshman at Central College in Pella, Iowa. I love all your videos. You guys definitely gave me the helmet bug. My dad gave me this helmet for my birthday, and they both came up with the design. No, they're not Bengals fans. They just like the design. Okay, that's, yeah. that's allowed. He actually said in here, it would be amazing if you could do a helmet for my college. Well, if you get us a decal set and yeah. send us a photo of what they look you like. Go talk to the equipment manager or the coach or whoever handles the equipment. And we'll get do us, it. Get, and get all, you got to get all the little ones too. Yeah. And if there's anything that, that helps with the story, let us know. Write us a note. We'll talk about it. Come on, man. Um, love that kind of stuff. We're, yeah. ha we're happy to do it if you can load us up. So... Oh, yeah. This helmet is bad ass. Yep. The photos tell the story, too. Look at the one with the little mm -hmm. leaf in the background, black mm -hmm. and white on the stainless. Got to get the gratuitous football yeah. shot in okay, there. Okay. Absolutely. I don't, I don't hate it. This first picture, look at that. Yeah, that's the money shot. That is sick. Right there. Um, and especially the thing that really pops out of this to me is those chrome visor clips on there. Look, looks fantastic. It's so good, man. This is oh, so yeah. great. This That's, is definitely going on the title, the thumbnail. I would say, and just put this one. Yep, screw That's every, it. Screw everybody else. <laughs> the, just, just this one. I think it's great. Um, I, we got a Shock Zero G visor. We got, like I said, the the Chrome uh, uh, Under Armour face mask clips. It's really, it's a black helmet with, it's, everything's just blacked out on it. Yeah. And it looks mean. And the reflections that you're getting in the visor really make it pop. It's, could you take a photo as good as that inside in this studio? 
I'm gonna say no. It just wouldn't do it. It's it's yeah. It's seeing the trees and the sky and all yeah. that, which you know you don't have that inside. You just don't have it. And <laughs> I I just love how every photo is well thought out. Even the one outside is on stainless steel, and then the Makes black and white in the background. I mean, my goodness, man. Good job. That's how you make. How the do show. we make this better? We put a green gridiron uh, 3D bumper on it. We've got those. We got them. Yeah, I'm gonna go, with Steve. I love this guy, and he's got a really great impact right out when you first see it. Yeah. Um, that's something you can print out, hang it on the wall, and mm -hmm. be proud of. I'm going to go with a 9.5. Yes, good father and son project, too. Really we, nice. We're seeing a lot of that, and uh, we love it. All right, so next up is Tim, and he says, Hey, guys, I'm Tim, and I enjoy your videos. Thanks, dude. I thought I'd share my Joe Burrow LSU Cincinnati helmet. Very much like this one, even though those color schemes go nothing. They do not go together. Well, and I got to say, to me, with these kind of helmets um, designs, when you're taking a college team and a pro team, uh, modeling it off, off of a player, the, the more obscene it is, as far as the colors clashing, yeah. the better. I agree, because now you can clearly see. Yeah. It's too, some of them, when they match too much, you're like, what, what the hell happened? It looks like you slipped. Yeah. Where here, it's very evident you're looking at LSU and you're looking at Bengals. So what would we do different here? Obviously, Pfizer, chin strap. Um, I, I feel something like this. You need to send this off and get Burrow's signature on it somewhere. Yeah, could you imagine? But before you do that, you got to do something with that chin strap. You just do something with it. Get, yeah. a, get a hard cup and unbranded. Just yep. do, do yep. something. And I, I personally, I'm not sure off the top of my head what he wears, but I'd, I'd go with a sports star victory for sure on this guy and when you're putting the chin the chin strap on the helmet on the bengal side not that bad on the lsu side shorten up or cut cut the uh cut that strap off so it doesn't it's not in front of and you know hiding the tiger yeah. uh, behind it which you know or turn it into a rabbit ear kind of train yeah. it to, to pop off the helmet that way you don't um you know you're not blocking the logo i'm gonna go with steve on this guy uh i'm gonna go with an I'm going to go with 8.2. Yeah? All yeah. right. Those cool. designs are cool. I still like those designs. I think yeah. they're great. A little bit more work to it, and you'll be all right. Next up is Joshua, and he says, I love your content. I could watch you guys build helmets oh. all day long. Every time I watch a video, I just want to make a change to one of my helmets. Oh, Let right. me know what you think. And more snow. People are really getting out there in the world that's fantastic this is a really good build too uh you've got the packers front 3d bumper you got the oakley visor you've got uh, under armor clips and you've got you put the matching green stickers on the visor uh, you got the yellow chin strap which is a perfect match for the rest of the helmet Steve, I'm sure you love the nature. I mean, what else can you say, right? He even did two different kind of perspectives mm -hmm. just to show how snow-covered and evergreen it is on that old rotted stump. Super cool. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a, a nice easy 8.8. 8. 8. Oh, 8. man! 8. Oh, yeah. I, I was going with the solid eight. All right. Next up is John. We got more coming at you. All right, John Dog. Let's so he says, hey, this is John from Northern Cali. Been watching you all for a while, and here's some of my custom 49ers helmets. It's an addiction, but I love it. This helmet here is a one. So we got an F7 helmet, and it's a gold, but that's not the gold that the 49ers wear. That's yeah. kind of like a satiny yeah. or a matte um, metallic gold. Check out the chrome on that visor. It's intense. So, well, it looks like we've got uh, 3D bumpers on this guy. Um, I think this is I think this is great, and I think yeah, I can see that you do have an addiction. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe once you know, maybe we should do a video in a couple of weeks with a San Fran helmet and the San Fran red face mask. What do you say? Yes, saying? Just to show the folks how got you to. can take maybe a speed flex and really you know kind of turn it into a little bit of a throwback. I love the fact that, you know, he did it on a very difficult hel helmet with that F7, and he just owned it. Do, you know, don't bother cutting all those stripes and everything. I would have done the same yeah. exact thing. Um, some really good stuff here. He's got that warning label popped on there, and just that little touch of the gold and the, with the clips. Yep, and the, and the chrome. Um, so good. The chrome, chrome sticker on the visor tabs yeah look nice too nice uh, pictures too it just spells out what you got going on uh, yeah steve i'm gonna go on the high side on this one oh, yeah. i'm gonna go with the 8.8 .8 again all right yeah. I mean, and that, that's all custom work on that one it is 
it is. Next up, oh man, last already is Finley. And he says, hey, I'm Finley. I'm a QB and wide receiver for the Somerset Wyverns. What? Sure. Yeah, based in the UK, and I'm a huge fan of the videos. Well, cheers from the USA. The dragons. Boom. Or, or is a dragon, or is a wyvern a dragon? Ah. A, uh, type, a type of dragon? Well, obviously you got to go with the photo where he's got the massive starburst in here, right? Yes. I mean, Just that's cool. Super cool. That And I don't think any of that is edited. I think he sat there and waited until it hurt his eyeball. Sure. And then hit. That's the <laughs> only way to do it. Yeah. Um, get a visor. I've seen some of these, the, the shape of these visors um, jump out of me. I don't know what brand this is. I think it's a generic, but you know what? The generics have really cool colors. They have very cool colors. You yeah. just can't take it away. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks cool here. Uh, it's in or it's on a Speedflex helmet. One of my favorite face masks is just your stock SF2E G2 face mask. And the yellow goes with the yellow in the visor. The yellow in the face mask is, pops a little bit more, which we call Green Bay Gold. Um, and overall, I think it's cool. It doesn't look like a 20 mil visor. Um, a 20 mil decal on the side. I would think in the UK, it's generally harder to get all this stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. I, the placement of the decal is spot on. But yeah, it's a thinner, oh, yeah. it's almost like a regular sticker. But dude, he probably has one of the best setups on like his team, I bet you. Probably. <laughs> he goes out there probably. like a champ. Yeah, you know? see, I'm going to go with a 7.3. 7.3. And that photo is great. So with good. Starburst. Well, that is all that we had time for today. If you didn't make the show, You'll get there. Just keep sending them in. Yeah, just, go <laughs> right. your, just go to your room and cry about Come it. Come on, man. Keep sending oh, in your pictures. Oh, okay. We really want to see, and we love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And if you made it to the end of this video, you're just the best. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.